AJ, just kind of right off the bat, what, what have you all seen or, or see from Princely and, and Walter and what they're adding to y'all's group? Um, and they really just added more, like, information, like, just in the room. Like, we got a lot of young guys and we got a lot of vets, but just them knowing and being able to come from another team and knowing, like, different techniques and different um, languages, like, that helped me, J.I., um, you got Jamarius Brown, and um, it really just ups our game and makes us play at a higher level just because we got other guys that are playing at a higher level at other schools. So, I guess with the you know, the freshman defensive lineman coming in with, you know, Cam Franklin and Rush and all that, you know, how have you seen them, although it's been pretty early, how have you seen them kind of adjust and kind of catch along to what y'all are trying to do? Yeah, um, Cam and uh, Rush, they just make, been making strides ever since um, the spring started. I mean, they um, really just lock in and focus on the small things. Because as a freshman, you know, like, coming in where you got this transfer portal, it's really hard to – like have that mindset of, oh, I'm gonna come in and do the little things and just get better at one thing. And I feel like Coach Joyner and put a big emphasis on me, J.I., and the leaders in the room to bring along the freshmen to try to do the right thing so they can follow our lead and do as well. Imagine you probably played a big, pretty big role in, in, in recruiting this roster as well. Uh, just just what, sort of, uh, what sort of things did you do to, to help put this roster together? I just really just showed them the blueprint. Like, this is the, Michael Jordan year, the last dance, and we got a lot of a lot of vets on this team, and a lot of people that just hungry and want to win. So it was really just come here and be able to learn from great minds like Pete Golden and Coach Kiffin, and we got um, like Coach Joyner and stuff like that, and just be able to learn from them and the guys that want to see us succeed and not just win a championship, but see us succeed in life and on the field. You mentioned the last dance that season was championship or bust. It was championship or failure. Is that way for you guys? I mean, that's that's every team. But, like, we have the team. Like Jordan Watkins said, like, right now we're just a roster of names. And the roster of names got great guys from different schools and places that were top guys at their schools. So, I mean, you put us together and we become a team. That's basically how we feel. Anything less than playoffs would be disappointment, failure? I mean, I would call it disappointment or failure, but that's what that's what we're shooting for, like playoffs, championship. I mean, that's what every team play for, and that's what we want to play for. Jared said, coming in now, you're two under Pete. Y'all know what he wants, expects, and now it's just kind of adding on to that to that base. What, what's what's your view of, of this kind of second year now under him? Um, just him, like we know, like he said, we know what we want, we know what we need to do. Just now, broaden what he wants and needs to do, and just be like vets at it and. You know, it was different. It was new from us coming from a uh, strictly three down to now moving around. So it's um, something that we always worked on in the off season, and we're still learning and putting new things in. But I feel like we, once we master it, we will be unstoppable. I guess you talked about, you know, the expectation, not just from the outside, but, you know, for yourselves internally. But, you know, with hearing all the outside noise that's been said, you know, over the past couple of months, so just about how good this or good or great this whole Miss team can be, has that been a little bit tougher just to kind of block out and, you know, focus on y'all's own business and whatnot? Uh, I feel like, I mean, we don't really just get into all that. Like, we, we see it on our phone and, like, you just scroll right past it just because, like, at the end of the day, we can control whatever we can control and, we can't control what people say out here, and we can't control what if it's good or bad. But in here, we know that we can control not worrying about all the social media and all that. And that's one, that's one of um, Kiffin's baby not worrying about the media and what what they saying about us if it's bad or good. Just worrying about this team and worried about what we can do. I asked Jordan. I'll ask you thoughts on video game. Just mm -hmm. kind of something fun and something for y'all to kind of think about heading into the summer. Oh, yeah, it's going to be – I haven't played NCAA and since the last time it came out. But I haven't opted in yet. I am going to opt in. I just know a lot of people have been doing it, so I just want to take time. But it's a uh, great experience. Like like you said, you're not creating a player and putting your last name on it. Like, you're already on the roster. And I know he said he was probably the 90, but I play offense and defense. So, like, I expect the 99 at least. Like, you know what I mean? Like, at least. <laughs> I guess kind of going off that completely random, but, you know, I'm sure you've probably played Madden with some of your previous teammates and all that. Who do you think would probably be the best player playing the game? At playing the game, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. I'm pretty good at playing the game, though. Like, but 
I say Jamarius Brown, JB, he pretty competitive at it. Like he made him go back and forth. We knock head. We, you know, like the brotherly get mad and want to fight. But other, I say JB. Anything else for JJ? Appreciate it.